<laughs> Olaf. Uh, Oli, um, Saras is this week, uh, I guess it's a, a, a massive test, but the sort of game that, you know, when you get up in the morning and somebody says you're going to be a professional rugby player is the sort of game you'd want to be involved in. These are the games, you know, you, you live for, so that it's going to be a huge, huge challenge for us. They're playing really well, you know, on the back of that, we've been playing some great footy as well, so it's going to be a big match-up. We've just got to, you know, play the extra Chiefs way and, and do it to 100%. And, um, you know, everyone's really excited. It's been a great feeling during training this week and, and this is the type of game that you really get up for. Obviously, we've heard a lot about the injuries at lock at the moment for the Chiefs with the likes of Damien Welsh uh, and Mitch Lees being injured and it's given a great opportunity to yourself. How do you feel you've taken that opportunity? I mean, I just try to pretty much play each game to the best of my ability. I know the guys were playing, uh, playing really well at the start of the year. Um, unfortunately, you know, injury you know, took them down when they were playing some great rugby. So, you know, I've just been trying to, to improve on each game that I've been given and I'm just happy to, uh, you know, to, to get the opportunity to be out there with the rest of the boys. And when you look at the, the, the threat that Saracens pose, it just seems that even without you know, their England players and Chris Ashton being suspended, they're, they're going to be a formidable presence. Yeah, they are. They're, they're, you know, as results speak for themselves, they've done really well in the Aviva, they've done really well in the, uh, in the European, but at the end of the day, it's, they're just another bunch of blokes who are playing rugby against us. So they've got to come here, you know, we've got to give our best performance and it should make for a you know, fantastic game. Where do you feel the major strengths of Saris are and, and how do you plan to, to counter those? They've got a really good set piece. They do their homework really well. Um, they have you know, a great kicking game, but they can also attack from anywhere, so you've got to be wary on all fronts, really. Uh, we've, we've really got to take the game to them. You know, we've got to get on the front foot and, and stop them getting on the front foot, really. So, you know, as I said, it's, it's going to be a spectacle. Um, you know, both, both teams going out there for the points, but you know, when you play a team like Saris, you've got to do... You've got to do your analysis, you've got to do your homework, and you've just really got to nut down the simple things in the game. It's a formidable home record that you have, and the likes of Claremont have come here, Bordeaux have come here, Leicester, all these other teams have come here, and they haven't been able to turn over Chiefs. I think it's 13 months now, isn't it? How important is it that this home record continues? Very important. I mean, we always talked at the start of the season about how important it is uh, playing at home, playing here at Sandy Park, it's a fantastic place to play, and you really want to do well at, in your home games, um, especially for all you know all the fans that turn up who have been fantastic this year. So you know it is incredibly important that we keep this uh, keep the role going and, and doing our best that we can while we're at home. And finally, for me, how, how, you know you've obviously been working quite hard in the week, I guess, about how to beat Saracens. How do you go about beating them? What do you have to do better? than them in particular to come away with a victory against a side that have played so well both domestically and in Europe? Score more points. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it, is, it is about Saris in, in one respect, but in the other it's really about how we play. It's the way that the Chiefs play, it's, it's what we've been doing during the week that will um, you know, hopefully transfer onto the field, which I think it will because it's, it, it has, as I've said, it's been a great vibe. It's been a great, uh, you know, huge amount of energy. Energy and enthusiasm will be the key to this game on, on Sunday. That's all I need. Thank Ollie, you. when you look at the season as a whole and how it's been for you, what are the big differences you've noticed from coming from Pro 12 into to the Premiership? Is it a lot different? No, it's not. I mean, I get asked this question quite a lot, really. It's, it's not a huge amount of difference in terms of the rugby you play. It might be... You know, playing up in Edinburgh, you get a fair few windy and rainy days, and where you've got to sort of take back and You're do a bit. More, yeah, you do, <laughs> but you got a bit more kicking and and stuff like that. But um, probably a little bit, a little bit quicker in some regards against some teams. But you know, you play some top sides like Leinster over there as well. So at the end of the day, there's not a huge amount of difference, especially for a lock. I mean, you just you know, you get you get your set piece right, and you do the and you do the, the groundwork really. So. I mean, I don't really find a huge amount of difference. Maybe a bit of speed, to be perfectly honest. And you've talked as well in the past about what you've learned already. You've got two coaches that are former locks. You've got guys like Jeff Parling, Damo, yep. and Mitch Lees around you. You're learning all the time in your position. I'd imagine you've added to your game already. Oh, you try to. I mean, you try to add to it every time. You know, as soon as you think you're the perfect player, you know, you'll get taken off your pedestal. So, um, you know, every day, every day, we're trying to, I'm trying to learn, trying to improve on my game, and you know, it helps having two coaches that are locks. You know, working under Damo and, and Mitch and, and Jeff has, has been great. You learn learn little things, and 
little subtleties in your game. I mean, you're not going to change a huge amount the way you play because, I mean, this is sort of, you get to a point, you know, on the way that you play. So little subtleties in your game that, you know, continue to work on. And one of your mates is coming here next year. Tell us a bit about Dave Dennis. What can we expect? Uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a great player. He's a, he's a great bloke. Uh, he'll fit in very well at this club. Um, he's got a glowing recommendation from Dean as well. So he's another Sydney Uni boy and Waratah, so that's where we're all from. It's sort of a bit of a production line at the moment. Um, but he, he'll love it. He'll, he's a fantastic player. He, he's very comfortable at six and at lock. So, and he's a smart player. You know, the uh, you know, set piece and line out he does very well. And um, you know, the club should be very excited about him coming here.